that I was told that doing an MBA was worthless, no good if you're working in the SME sector. It's only for people in corporates and there's no lessons to be learned. You shouldn't have bothered doing it and all this sort of thing. Uh, and this, you'll get told this, but normally by people who haven't done one themselves. So I thought I'm going to give you a little bit of a, uh, an example of type of things. Now, on the MBA program, you do learn learn lots of of technical things, accounts and finance and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. And they need updating and they evolve over time. But what I found was some of the most powerful lessons weren't to do with the technical aspects of finance or company structures and things like that. Uh, fascinating as that was. Um, it was to do with other things, about mindset. It was about approach. It was about how to strategize things as well that we didn't realize at the time that we would use later on in our lives and our careers. And a quick example for you, we're in an auditorium and I did my MBA in London, um, in Greenwich, and uh, we're in this auditorium, and uh, the professor walked in, and he said nothing. There's about 30, 40 people in the room, I suppose, and it's all sort of laid out in a tiered approach. And he walks into the room, onto the stage, like a stage with a lecture at the front, and he had um, a beer glass, a pint glass, a big chunky beer glass in his hand, and he just threw it into the, the corner of the room on the, on the stage. And this thing, it actually shattered, it broke into several pieces, and he just turned and, and walked out and we're sat there thinking crikey what, what's going on here this is not what we paid for not what we signed up for then about 30 seconds later he came on again said nothing with another chunky you know pint glass in his hand threw it in the corner and this thing didn't break this time it just bounced around and span and sort of fell down a few steps onto the onto the floor and he looked up and he said history does not repeat itself and I was like Crikey. Now, what he meant by that, they were, and that was a sort of start of his uh, lecture, his presentation, was that just because we do something that other people have done in the past, the same strategy and tactics and timing and approach, doesn't mean we're going to get the same outcomes and the same results. We need to adapt. We need to change to the new reality, new technology, new situation or the new market. So don't just copy what other people have done is, you know, think afresh. History doesn't repeat itself because situations change and the environment's changed, the market's changed. And this is one of the challenges I, I see on social media and everywhere where people say, here's a successful person, uh, do what they've done, do exactly what they've done as a, as a copy, as a strategy, and you'll get the same results. No, you won't. You have to use the principles of what they've done maybe and the approach but you can't just do what somebody else has done exactly and expect to get the same results because history does not repeat itself. We have to adjust and adapt. So these are the type of things I found sort of fascinating as an engineer to have this mindset approach to things. Um, but that's what we learned. There's lots of lessons like this. I did a blog the other day on another very similar one with a dog, and I'll do another video on that later on. But it was that's the value of education. It doesn't have to be an MBA, but education, finding people to challenge your mindset and your beliefs and deliver it in a way that you remember. I did my MBA 25 years ago, and I remember that. That. I remember several of them, and perhaps I'll bring some to the fore, but it's how it's delivered. I remember that smashing the glass, not smashing the glass. History doesn't repeat itself. And that's cropped up in my career, in my life, my businesses over the years. And I reckon I thought back on that. Well, history doesn't repeat itself unless we adapt and we do something different. So there we go. A lesson from a 25 year old MBA class. Anyway, I hope that was a bit of fun, bit of interest for you. It's really hot here in the Moselle, 32 degrees, blue sky, sunshine. It's fabulous. Tell on the warm side for me. Have a great day wherever you are. Stay safe, stay, stay out of the heat and uh, more updates to come. In the meantime, have a great week. See you soon. Bye for now.